forgot to lower the seat post back there took quite a shot to the taint hopefully there will be no long-term damage all right we're starting out one of my favorite rides that i've ever done on the tahoe rim trail starting the ride at the spooner summit there were bathrooms down there i did not see if there was water so bring your water this is a shuttled ride we got a shuttle from uh over the edge bike shop in south lake tahoe ten dollars a head too good to be true that is a hell of a deal for this ride and you immediately feel the elevation right off the start i think we start at seven thousand feet and this first stretch is a heartbreaker getting the legs warm getting acclimated hurtful got a breeze going today can't complain about that the sun is beating down i'm carrying all three liters of water my back can now hold it's feeling a little heavy <laughs> first little fun part after a lot of suffering pain and pleasure this trail is very well marked very hard to get lost on the Tahoe Rim Trail even so still suggest you download Trail Forks app so you can have offline mapping so you can see how far into the trail you are and know if you need to bail out if you're gonna cross a road soon or kind of what's what's up ahead and still we climb here the hellacious wind means we're close to the top My bike get pushed around in the wind like that so that really windy spot was, was a good place to turn around I think a lot of people go to there and head back down if you're not up for an epic all-day ride Good little recovery downhill right there after all that work. Feeling fully healed after that downhill. So after you come through this, you want to hit right. It's a confusing little spot. Oh, another split. Clearly marked though. Right at the big rock. Yeah. 
Okay, this looks good. All right. A little bit of a fire road after all that single track. Back at it. All right, we made it to the road. Make a dash across, head up the stairs. We had a little honey snigger snack break. We are two hours and 15 minutes into the ride, 15.5 miles. And now we've got quite a bit of climbing to go. Another little slice of fire road. All right, we're gonna hang a right. Hit this water. This was the spot where I was bike packing and uh, stopped there for lunch, tried to cook some rice and the rice would just not cook. Just boiling, boiling, boiling water for fucking so long. Could not get the rice to soften up. So didn't have lunch that day. Just had a lot of trail mix. It's also a good spot if you have a water filter or Aquamira water drops to take in some more water doing an even more epic ride like the Punisher Google that one he's trying to drop me last time I did this ride I broke my rear derailleur hanger right around here and had to hike a bike to the Van Sickle the top of Van Sickle but luckily it isn't that far and then the downhill was nice without a, without a chain. Oh, jeez. Now we're gonna leave Tahoe Rim Trail, hang a right to Van Sickle, get that dropper post down and tear some ass. Man, what a ride. $10 shuttle, come on. You cannot beat that. Even though it may look like I'm going pretty fast, I'm always in control. There's plenty of people out here, including horses, so gotta be aware. Oh, hitting the nuts by the seat. Nothing's gonna ruin this ride though. Yeah. Van Sickle is awesome. We haven't even lost that much elevation yet. Just killing it.
been a couple spots on the trail that have been very loose and sandy, kind of send, it, send you off, so look out. All right, what a ride. Even though it was kind of busy today and there was ran into quite a few people, still got plenty of flow, plenty of fun, plenty of action. All right, my Strava crapped out, so I had to look at my brother's Strava. 22.9 miles, 3,576 feet of elevation. The time was three hours, 14 minutes. Don't know if that's total or moving, but whatever it was, it was a hell of a ride. Thanks for coming along with me today, guys. It was, uh, it was a fun one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you out on the trail.